Now, we're putting a new armature in it. So we have no idea how many shims to put in it. So basically what I tend to do is just put what put what was in there back and then we'll measure it again. New armature out of the box. Don't put your oily fingers on the commutator area. That just goes, as you can see, it's trying to pull it on. Once you get it on the middle, it will sit there. Sometimes you've got to actually hold them in place and just nip them up ever so slightly before they actually just sit there. And now, I'll just tighten it on. And again, these can be very, very tight. And it will go obviously tight. Now, if, instead of reassembling the motor entirely, what we can do is use our feeler again. Feel in there. Now that is tight. That won't actually go in there. 1.6 millimeters, give or take. So what we need to do is add another shim. So we take the armature off. on it put it back on then we try again still doesn't want to know so we take it off and put another one in I'm not going to put any more than four in though before I actually test the other side I mean you're aiming for the gap to be equal both sides and albeit they shouldn't vary we'll see Right, that's done up. Still, I mean obviously it's getting looser, but it still won't go in there, but we'll see on the other side. 40 Newton meters, but it also gives 38. For there we go, that's 40. And then, and this isn't in the manual, the centre bolts are supposed to now be all torqued up correctly. So we loosen them off. And it's 20 newton metres, which we shall do in two stages. Right, the final torque figure is 20 newton meters. In sequence. And then 30 degrees. So, we start there, we turn it 30 degrees. What we do need to do is check the magnets, 
and when we had those out we could do that we just get a steel thing and basically the mag magnetism should be strong and should get stronger to the, to the outside of the magnets so we just do that and we'll go around get stronger and you can actually feel it getting stronger to the outside um, and then just check have a look see if any are loose just kind of give them, try and give them a push and everything's okay we can then turn it upside down and make sure the pull is in there and extended as it were because it will you will not be able to control it doing that and if you don't have that in there it will just go bang and it will only go on in one position if you look there are three marks three dimples in the um, outer band there's one and there are three things in there and what you'll find is you can turn the magnet the um, the back plate but it'll actually stop in it's four positions, I think. It's just the way the magnetism works. And only one of them you'll find that all three line up. And then you can just undo that. That's loose, that's together. And now we'll try. See this actually now, this will this will go in, but I've actually got to push it in. So We're in about the right place in terms of the spacing of the armature. That's done. Otherwise, if there is a big gap, you've got to take the armature back off and uh, put another spacer in, another shim. And it should sound vaguely like that when you spin it. Sometimes you do get a little ticking and it's it almost sounds like there's a bit of dirt in there. But if there is but if you're confident there isn't, there probably isn't. And it just sounds like that for some strange reason. And as soon as you run it, it goes away.